forward in time, to view alternate futures, to see all the possible outcomes of the coming conflict. How many did we win? One. Doctor Strange might have a bit of an ego and he's definitely not the easiest guy to be around, but at the end of the day he's a superhero and as a superhero, he needs to make some tough decisions every now and then. You know, like deciding to not stop Thanos from collecting all six Infinity Stones and wiping out half of all life in the universe. Yep, it turns out that Doctor Strange could have prevented the snap and we'll let you know how. With the Eye of Agamotto in his possession, there's pretty much nothing Doctor Strange can do if it involves time in any way. He could manipulate time and make an apple go from ripe to rotten in seconds, and he could also look into the future and see 14,605 different futures, which is exactly what we saw him do in Avengers Infinity War. In the film, we saw Doctor Strange look into the future to see all the scenarios where the Avengers came out victorious against the Mad Titan Thanos, and found only one future where that happened. But is it possible that he looked beyond the conflict with Thanos, much past the end of the Infinity Saga to prevent even more conflicts down the line? Well, according to Redditor Cloud City Lando, that's exactly what the Sorcerer Supreme did. If you remember what happened in Infinity War, which already feels like 10 years ago, then you remember the scene where Peter Quill snapped on Thanos after learning what he did to Gamora, throwing the whole plan off a cliff. <laughs> Just like when Thanos yeeted Gamora. Sorry, Peter, we had to make the joke. Of course, instead of looking into the future, Doctor Strange could have stopped Quill from freaking out, which would have most likely resulted in the Infinity Gauntlet being taken off Thanos. Anyway, if our heroes would have gotten the gauntlet off Thanos and then taken out the Mad Titan, that would have fixed everything, right? There'd be no decimation, no blip, no nothing. But maybe that wasn't what happened in the one future Doctor Strange saw where our heroes came out victorious. Maybe Doctor Strange needed Thanos to cause the decimation and snap his fingers a second time to get rid of all the Infinity Stones. This crucial step may have been necessary to prevent future catastrophes in Doctor Strange's vision, so he did nothing to stop it. He saw firsthand how relentless Thanos was in getting the stones. He was throwing daughters off cliffs and ripping stones out of androids' heads. It was just nuts. Just like in Dragon Ball, there's always a chance that someone somewhere out there is stronger than you, and Doctor Strange couldn't take that chance with Thanos. It's possible that Doctor Strange made sure Thanos destroyed the stones so it could prevent these stronger forces in the universe from ever getting their hands on the stones and repeating all the death and destruction Thanos caused and then some. Can you imagine a powerful being like Annihilus or Galactus with all six Infinity Stones? They'd be impossible to take out, dominating the universe with ease, which is something Doctor Strange avoided by letting this happen. This theory ties in well with the fact that Doctor Strange gave up the Time Stone when he said he'd rather die than give it up. He wasn't being hypocritical, he was just following all the steps that he was supposed to follow to reach the one future where Thanos is dead and the stones are no longer around to entice other more powerful villains. This one future was most likely the only future where Strange survived, since, as the Ancient One so famously said, you can't see past your own death. If his vision went blank, that means he probably wasn't in it. So he had to give up the Time Stone, Thanos had to cause the decimation, and the Mad Titan had to destroy the Infinity Stones for this one vision to come to light. It was all part of his master plan, folks. Of course, by getting rid of Thanos and the Stones, our heroes aren't out of the woods just yet. Earlier we mentioned Annihilus and Galactus. Whether these baddies come to town with six Infinity Stones or not, they're a force to be reckoned with, and there's nothing this future or any other one could do to prevent them from coming. There are stronger forces out there in the MCU that we haven't met yet, and we know Tony Stark's snap and endgame didn't get rid of every single bad guy in the MCU. What would be the fun in that? There's more movies coming out. When Professor Hulk snapped his fingers to bring the Dusted back to life, it most likely caused a moratorium on the Sokovia Accords, so all of our heroes could be united and bring the final fight to Thanos. This most likely built some trust among our heroes, and even made martyrs out of Iron Man, Captain America, and Black Widow, who sacrificed themselves for the greater good. They all died or went back in time to spend their lives with their long-lost loves before they came back all old and gray, which inspired a new generation of heroes to come forth. Now superheroes will want to be the next Black Widow. Superheroes will want to be the next Captain America, even though Sam Wilson is the actual new Captain America, and superheroes will want to be the next Iron Man. Well, except Peter Parker. He definitely doesn't want to be the next Iron Man because, let's be honest, no one can. All of this was because Doctor Strange could have prevented the snap when fighting Thanos on Titan, but didn't. He knew some Avengers were going to go down in the fight against the Mad Titan, but he didn't have a choice, and he did what he thought was the right choice in the long run for both Earth and the universe as a whole. As a superhero, you have big decisions to make, and some could have some grave consequences. Sometimes you have to take risks, and that's exactly what Doctor Strange did to make the universe a better place. Thanks, Doc! 
and that's why we think Doctor Strange could have prevented the snap in Avengers Infinity War. Do you agree with this theory? Are we completely off base? Are you excited for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? Let us know in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to CBR for more MCU videos. Thanks for watching.